In this episode we are going to do some more cool stuff with Vue.js. First of all we are going to do live filtering. So we are going to have an input box right here and when we start type so uh, typing something in it, it will automatically filter out the movies uh, depending on what we type. Also I will show you how you can have a select box right here and then uh, uh, filter out movie genres. So that will be pretty cool. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, uh, this movie app looks a little bit different. So I did some basic styling with Bootstrap uh, and some little bit of my own stylings. Uh, you will have all of that available on GitHub, of course. Also, in our Drupal, I added one more field. So if we go to structure and then to movie types, actually content types and then to type of movie and if we manage fields you will see that we have this field genres uh, right here and it's a plain text field that can accept unlimited number of values so you just create that for yourself if you don't know how please refer back to the Drupal 8 theming series we cover all of that uh, right there so and then I of course added one more movie since it's a Star Wars week and uh, Star Wars premieres are everywhere right now I just saw uh, I just thought it would be fitting to have Star Wars uh, right here in our list of movies also uh, I added so if we go to content and if we go to let's say Inception and edit it we can see that we have those genres right here so action, crime, sci-fi we are going to use those to filter out our movies later uh, a little bit later in this episode okay so that's it as for the updates uh, everything else is pretty much the same and also before we start doing new stuff let's fix uh, old stuff a little bit so if we open up our console and I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger you can see that since we are using the development version of uh, Vue.js you can see that we have some warnings right here so you are setting non-existent path movies on a VM instance so what, the, what does that mean? well it means basically this that every time you want to have some data you should initialize it first so we don't have that initialized and to do that you just do something like movies since we are receiving movies right here over our our API we just do movies movies and then just set it to be empty save it and if we go right here as you can see that warning is gone now for the next warning so we have another warning which says interpolation in src attribute will cause 404 request as it does right here so we don't want to have that of course you see everything works this is just a warning so instead using this src and then movie field uh, we should use vbind uh, SRC instead and you use it like this so if we go to our application and our movie poster is right here so we should do vbind SRC let me just make this bigger for you and then uh, you should remove those curly braces so just do vbind SRC and then all of this stays the same if we save this and when the page refreshes as you can see now we don't have any warnings okay so that's great so let's now get uh, to the nitty-gritty of this episode so as I said we are going to be doing live filtering and as you will see it is very very easy so if we go uh, to our index.html file um, Vue.js has a method of filter by so if we just do this and do something like filter by and then we 
let's say we just write big right here what would we get so it would filter by this big string right here so the only movie we have with that big string is big Lebowski so if we save this as you can see we just get big Lebowski if we do something like uh, Leo we will get Inception because we have Leonardo DiCaprio right here uh, also we can do something like Chris for Christopher Nolan and we still get Inception also we can do American Beauty so we now get American Beauty you can also filter by if we say America but uh, not America but let's say we wanna get the movie with Ellen Page so I'm going to write Ellen and then we set the field that we wanna look so let's say we just want to filter by actors so we would say in and then the field for our actors is called field actors and that should be it now we should get inception again and now this would filter only by a uh, field of actors so if we get inception right here we shouldn't get anything because Vue.js is currently looking just in this field right here okay so I'm just going to delete all of this so this is filter by fun uh, function or method so I'm just going to delete this so we get all of our movies and of course uh, this way of doing things is not the way we want this is all well and good and you can use you can maybe use it for something but what actually we do want is for uh, wait for users input so that the user input something and then the movies filter out so how would we do that I am going to show you in just a second okay so first of all I'm going to make our input and I'm going to say I'm just going to call this filter filter right here oh, what happened there okay uh, so this is going to be called filter and since we're using bootstrap I'm just going to do input with form control class and it's going to be type of text save this now we have this input field right here but I'm going to just go to globals.scss and add some styling to this so it's going to be pairing 40 oh come on filter so pairing 40 pixels background of EF, EF, EF. let's see how this looks right now okay and I'm just going to do a margin of bottom and set it to be 40 pixels also okay so now we have this filter box right here so the next thing we need to do we just need to add a model to this input so we're going to call our model V model to be a live filter we're going to call it live filter and so since this is also a type of data we're going to initialize it right here so I'm just going to say live filter and that's it so this is initialized and now if we go right here we get some errors let me just see unexpected end of input so maybe because of this okay so I shouldn't have put this comma right here okay <coughs> now this works but of course if we write something in it nothing happens just yet so for something to happen 
we would just need to say for these movies we just need to say filter by filter by what live filter of course okay and now this should work as you can see I just wrote star and I got Star Wars if I wrote American I get American Beauty if I wrote Ellen I would get Inception and so on so as you can see this is very easy and it does a lot of things so it you created live filter which used to take you I don't know maybe an hour to make in jQuery or something like that you can make it in literally seconds in Vue.js and we're live filtering everything JJ so actually JJ and we get Star Wars okay so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna set a one more filter that is going to filter by genres before we filter it by genres uh, we should get some genres right in, uh, right in here so as I said behind the scenes I already added those genres to our Drupal and now if we go to our API for Drupal we can see that we are getting let me just find it we are getting field genres and the values for it so drama comedy and so on so we have to first set it up on our page and I'm just going to do this so below actors I'm going to say uh, strong strong and then we're going to do okay we'll do a span and just like for actors we're going to do v4 actually no what I'm doing come on so strong and then we write something I'm just going to add an HR tag right here uh, we write genre okay so to title that and then we do span and then we do v4 equals genre in and the, mo the field is called movie dot let me just see field genres okay and then we can just do something like genre dot value and that should be it let me see okay so we got this HR tag right here and now we have drama and comedy and I'm also going to add a comma right here so that we get this separated okay so now that we got those let's create a select box with our uh, genres movie genres okay so I'm just going to go to this filter right here and I'm just going to say row okay and then I'm just going to do something like call MD let's say 6 okay and then I'm going to do select and it's going to have a class of form control okay come on and then we're going to sub have some option tags right here so I'm go going to do option times I don't know 7 okay and the values for those options are going to be action and then comedy and then sci-fi and we can have crime and then we can have drama and what else do we have romance
and adventure. Okay, so now we have our select box. If we save it, we can see it right here. Uh, I'm just going to add a BR tag right here or two. So this is so this isn't uh, put actually better yet. Uh, I will do just something like H4 filter by genre. Okay, so this looks good. Okay, now we have our filter. Next thing we need to do, we need to, just like we did for this live filter, we need to connect it to this uh, list of movies. So to do that, we would do uh, almost the exact same thing as we did for this live filter. So we would do V model equals and we're going to call it genre filter actually genre filter okay and then we uh, of course go to our app js and do to initialize this data okay save it everything seems to be working as you see as you can see we lost uh, the first item in this select list because this is a V model right now and it's currently turned off so we can do something like right here so to connect it we should do well we have we already have one filter so we need to add another one so to do that you just go pipe again and do filter by filter by and then we called it genre filter and that's it save it and this should hopefully work right now so if we choose comedy we get only two movies if we choose drama we don't get anything romance nothing adventure we get this uh, if we choose sci-fi we get inception and so on and look at this so if we go to comedy so we got two movies right here but this filter still works so I can just uh, write big and I would filter it out even more so isn't Vue.js super cool Okay, so let's just do one one little thing uh, before I go because as you can see now we can only get those filtered movies so we can get uh, all uh, the movies right here so we need to correct that and to do that I'm just going to do something like option and then value value is going to be nothing and we're going to say all right here okay so as you can see it is automatically added to this select list so this is all and now if we do, do crime if we do comedy but if we want to list out all of the movies we just do all and that's great okay so this is it for this episode and in the next episode I'm going to show you how you can create this filter dynamically using jQuery because if you go right here and click on romance we don't get anything and we don't want that kind of functionality because we only want genres right here that are available to us in our movie list so since the romance is gone <laughs> right uh, since the romance is gone uh, it, we don't have any movie that are typed romance uh, we don't want that here and you will learn how to make that dynamically okay so this is it for this episode if you liked it please like it if you like the channel please subscribe to it please follow me on twitter or on facebook and that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.